between the cornfields of Washington County and the foothills of the Appalachians is Clear Spring, where people feel lucky to live. Oh, I got a yassi. <laughs> a town of about 400. Oh, I love it, you know, everybody's really nice. It's always, everybody's always smiling. Everybody waves to you. I'm a nickel. That ain't a nickel. But even an all-American town can't stop big city problems from rolling in. There's a drug problem in Clear Spring. Kevin Do Simmer it. spent decades policing streets in and around Clear Spring and raised a family here. Now you're locking your doors and you're locking your car. And Gun ownership runs as deep as family here. A lot of people have guns. They feel safe with safer with them. There's not a house in this town that doesn't have a gun. The Ruger P89 handgun, eight inches long, 1.85 pounds. A gun able to hold up to 16 rounds. In 2014, a nine millimeter like this one, along with three other guns, went missing from a home on the outskirts of town. And we found the owner of it. He didn't want to go on camera out of fear he could become a target again. But he did talk with us off camera and shared his story. He believes the gun was taken during a burglary at his house and then driven to Baltimore where it was traded or sold for heroin. This ended up being a family member who I believe ultimately stole this gun and sold it in Baltimore. Small town drug addiction, driving big city crime. For two years, the stolen gun from Clear Spring seemed to go underground, but it resurfaced with a bang here in Baltimore, linked to four shootings in less than 12 months. Three happened in West Baltimore. First, it was used to shoot two people inside a car. Ten months later, a teenager shot in the leg. Within weeks of that shooting, the gun riddles a woman's car with bullets as it sits at a traffic light. Five days later, this happens. 4931, shots fired, shots fired. <laughs> In February, 18-year-old Curtis Deal ran from Baltimore police. That gun from Clear Spring was in his hand. The one that three years earlier disappeared in a home burglary some 85 miles away. A gun Curtis Deal begins to raise when a police officer shoots him dead. These guns are passed around from person to person, from criminal to criminal. A Bureau of Justice report showed that between 2005 and 2010, 1.4 million firearms were stolen from private owners. Last year alone, the FBI says more than $155 million in guns were stolen across the United States. It is a prize commodity. On Baltimore streets, guns like the stolen Ruger can sell for three times as much as the original owner paid. The force driving that enormous markup. The narcotics fuel the demand for the firearms. It all goes together. The, the theft, the guns, the robberies, all that stuff is intertwined. The common denominator amongst it all, I think, is drugs. In this case, the trail of the Ruger stolen from Clear Spring ended in southwest Baltimore. The whereabouts of the other three stolen guns in Clear Spring remain unknown. Joy Lapola. Fox 45 News.